Chapter four, my surgery. I had my bariatric surgery, Rue and Y, on September 20th of this year, 2022. Was I nervous going into it? No, I've had surgeries before. Um, not nervous. I knew I had a potential of having an issue, like uh, problems after, because I have Ehlers-Danlos, which is a connective tissue disorder. Um, so I knew that could, there could be some complications, but it was, it's a low percentage. So I had surgery, not an issue, I got, I got ready for it, went to the hospital, brought enough stuff, or had my wife bring it after. I'll go through that in a second. Um, it's hard to remember, but I, the process of getting checked in to, to get to the actual surgery was pretty simple. Um, I'm sure others would, who are nervous would have issues with it being nervous and all, but I was, I was fine. Um, when surgery was done, it's hard to remember, but I came out of it and I was in a two room, two bed or two occupant room. And I think everything was fine. Um, I remember wanting to go home, but you're not allowed, you have to go home the next day because they have to make sure everything's okay. Uh, make sure you pass gas, make sure you pee, uh, just things that um, they gotta make sure come out. Um, that ended up being fine and I ended up being discharged the next day, September 21st. For while I was there for surgery, I was smart enough to think about things I would want to bring with me and for those who are going to have surgery any surgery really uh, and are going to be staying in the hospital all night or longer uh, these are some things that you should really consider when you go for your overnights um, you want to have something to entertain yourself so um, old school would be a book or a bunch of books really comic books uh, novels whatever what have you whatever you like but me and most people, um, you should bring your iPad or your iPhone and make sure you load it up with a bunch of videos because Wi-Fi sucks uh, at the hospital. So load it up with videos, load it up with music, load it up with whatever, co whatever content that'll keep you entertained and busy while you're just sitting in the hospital, laying in the hospital and healing. Um, bring headphones. Oh my goodness, on one of my stays in the hospital, well, actually multiple, uh, people would play their music and their stuff to themselves, but out loud. And it's like, really? You, you don't even, why aren't you even thinking about headphones? Like, why isn't this enforced by the nurses? Like, wear headphones, Air, AirPods, something. Like, headphones are cheap. Get yourself some headphones. Like, be courteous. And, and, and yeah, then you don't have to even... I don't know, me, I, I, I would sit there and worry that people are hearing my stuff and, and feeling like they have to hear my stuff. Other people who are ignorant of that, stop being ignorant. Headphones. Um, other things to bring, charging cables for your devices so you don't run out of energy. Uh, the beds there had USB plugs that you can just plug in your stuff and have it charge while you're doing stuff. That's great, that's smart. It was like a smart bed, it was great. Uh, a pillow, uh, definitely bring your own pillow. The pillows there are, are fine, but your own pillow, you never beat your own pillow, you're used to it. Um, comfy clothes, baggy comfy clothes, slippers if you're into that, socks, extra pair of warm socks because it can get cold there and you could be walking around on the cold floor. Um, a stand for your devices, like something to hold it because otherwise you're holding it the whole time. You don't want to do that, especially if you just had surgery on your stomach and you don't want to press against it. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, eye mask. If you want to get some sleep during the day, they often open up the curtains and you're just like, Bleh, if you put that shit away. So eye mask if you need it. Um, ear blockers. What do you call those? Not ear blockers. Ear plugs. Um, ear plugs are essential if you want to block out all the sound around you, like people on their devices or the beeps from all the uh devices that are not devices but the medical equipment um it's noisy and it gets to you so earplugs i have um 
noise cancellation headphones. So those are amazing and block it a lot. And I use them often. Uh, I also brought my AirPods just in case I didn't want to have the big headphones on, but I didn't end up using them. Um, those are the things that I could think of. Um, but yeah, be prepared. Be prepared when you go in for a stay in the hospital because you don't want to be bored. That's the worst. Being bored sucks. But my surgery went fine until later. And I will discuss that in the next chapter. It didn't go well. It, bad things happened. Stay tuned for the next.